Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video where I transform into a different aesthetic every single day for a week and at the end of each day I'm going to be doing a photo shoot. <laughs> I'm so excited for this video. Not only do I love doing photo shoots, but the fact I'm gonna be doing different aesthetics for each one is gonna be so fun, and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. I don't wanna keep the intro too long though, so if you guys enjoy, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications by clicking the bell and follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok because I'm actually doing this as a mini TikTok series as well. So go check those out if you wanna see them. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Why did I say that? Let's get straight into the video. Oh yeah, let's get straight into the video. Why don't we get straight into the video? <laughs> So, I'm at my little makeup station now, and I'm gonna be transforming into a Y2K baddie. I'm thinking of go, okay, I need to stop being cringe. I'm gonna stop being cringe right now. So I think I'm gonna go for this makeup, and maybe not the brows, because I want this to actually look nice, because I'm gonna be doing a photo shoot that I'm gonna put on my Instagram at the end of each day. And I think this is gonna be the easiest one, because you guys already know. Know that I love the year 2000s and it kind of is a part of my style. It used to be more so than now, um, but I still love myself a juicy tracksuit every once in a while and I'm not afraid to say it. So I'm gonna start off with just doing some foundation stuff. I'm probably just gonna do this as a time lapse because it might take, this part's gonna be boring and this is not specific to the aesthetic or anything. So, baby, I got your money, got your money. And I wonder why I was always the worst character in the school play. Actually, one year I was the main character. And that was a really weird moment for me because I did not thrive at acting. It literally started from primary school. I was a sheep in the nativity. Like, if that doesn't say something. And then, in Peter Pan, I was a lost boy. And they literally put mud on my face. And to be fair, I had a line in that. I think I said something to Peter Pan. I've got no clue. I can't remember. Okay, this is actually taking ages, so I'm gonna do my face makeup and then get back to you when I'm doing the actual eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm onto the... My eyebrows are so weird. I tried to like a thinner brow because that was the kind of look they went for in the 2000s, but it didn't really work for me. I'm gonna do eyeshadow now, so I'm gonna find a bright blue. Okay, so I'm gonna go for this bright blue right here. I have no idea how to do good eyeshadow, so this is probably gonna look horrendous, but <laughs> we can only hope that I look semi okay. Um, okay, as a whole look, it will look good, but as of right now, it looks like I've been punched in the face. Uh, okay, maybe I'm gonna add some eyeliner. Okay, so I'm gonna try. I'm so bad at stuff like this, so if this looks... Oh no. I finished the eye makeup and now I'm gonna do lips. So I'm gonna go for a darker lip like... Mm. I think it's looking good. Okay, now I'm going to move over there and do my hair. Okay, so now for hair, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of thinking two messy buns like this, or like this, or this hairstyle. I feel like this is so cute. I think I'm gonna do that. If I take my bangs out, cause she has hers down and then clipped back. If I take them out and then do like a half, Oh my god, what has she done? Like, I don't get it. Maybe she like... <laughs> Always room for improvement. What about this? Mm, nope. Let's, if I pin this bit in as well. Okay. Okay. That kind of worked. I mean, I hate it, but I think it looks like the picture. I think that's just the best we're gonna get. I just realized I completely forgot to add like hair accessories, so I'm gonna add some big chunky clips. This is the finished hair, now we're gonna move on to outfit. So I've kind of planned the outfit beforehand because I don't wanna make the video too long, so I'm gonna show you what I've picked out. It's gonna match the makeup perfectly, I can't wait. So I'm gonna wear this Ed Hardy jumper, which is so 2000s, I'm obsessed with it. Look at the back, looks so cool. I actually bought this from a festival. Um, and then of course, you can't do a Y2K, transformation without wearing some juicy so these aren't the original juicies but i don't have any original ones in that blue color and these match the ed hardy jumper perfectly so i'm gonna wear these 
and then this patchwork top from Jaded London. So I'm gonna go change into this now. This is the. F yeah? God, you sound like a man. So this is the final outfit. I kind of hate the outfit. I feel like it's too much. <laughs> Now I'm gonna head up to my shed to do a cool photo shoot. So I'm in my little studio now and I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm not gonna be able to film me taking the pictures because I'm doing it on this camera that I'm using right now. So I'll show you guys when I'm editing. So I'm gonna edit them now. I'm just going through all the different pictures. Some of them are really rubbish, but at the end I figured out a better lighting and stuff. And I'm gonna have to like crop around them and then do the edits from Photoshop. I'm so excited to see how these turn out. Hey guys, so today it is day two of trying a different aesthetic every single day. So I am doing fairy core today, <laughs> which I actually didn't really know what it was until I looked it up. But basically it's a mixture of like fairy and cottage core, I'm pretty sure. So the pictures I found on Pinterest, it's just very glowy makeup, very like glossy and glowy and just very like. I've done like the basis of my makeup, I've just done like concealer and a bit of foundation. I'm going to do some blush now. I think I've got to really amp it up with the blush because that is what they've seemingly done in these pictures. So I'm going to take this Bare Minerals one and just put it up here. They have it on like where they highlight instead of more so their cheeks. If I just turn this light on so you can kind of see better. So I'm gonna kind of do it like up here and then on there. I'm gonna take this Becca highlight and put that over the top as well just for more glow. We literally just want glow everywhere. I'm gonna kind of bring it into my eye as well. So I'm gonna take this glitter foil. They've kind of got it like under here. I'm gonna put a bit on here as well. Okay, this is not looking good put a bit here but if I like blend it it should look better than that. I'm gonna do some lip gloss now because like I said very glowy lip gloss just is part of the aesthetic I think. Very nice this lip gloss is just the Kiko number one and then I'm also gonna add I have this like glittery lip gloss from Lottie London I'm gonna add this to my lips now they're just very glossy and glittery and I think it is time to do hair okay now for hair I looked on Pinterest and most of them just have like either their hair down and I feel like this is gonna look cute because this is quite cottage core as well so I've got to bring that element into it anyway this is the hair so cute and now I'm gonna move on to outfit I think I've chosen the outfit that I want to do so I'm gonna Okay, I'm stuck between the brown dress and the pink dress. I feel like this is more fairy cool. This brown mesh cardigan underneath and then some leg warmers. But I also have this dress, which I think would go better with the overall outfit, but it's not as like fairy-esque. So I think I'm gonna go with that one. So this is the final outfit. I feel like it looks really cute. I've got the um, leg warmers on as well, but you can't really see. And I think now it's time to go and do a photo shoot. So I just went outside and it was really awkward. I think my neighbors are gonna think I'm so weird, but also they probably already think I'm weird from all the pictures I take in my garden. But I actually got some really cute pictures. I just ended up doing them on my phone because it was a lot easier with the tripod. Yeah, I switched up the angle and the pictures turned out so cute. I'll show you some of the best ones. So I got this one and just like a bunch kind of like that type angle and then I also managed to get some from the back so I can do like a cool edit with the wings because the wings are so pretty and yeah I'm gonna see what I can do on Photoshop now with those images and I'll obviously show you guys when I finish Hey guys, so today is Wednesday and this is our third look out of five and I'm gonna be doing e-girl. I am the most apprehensive about this one because it's gonna be the most out of my comfort zone. I never wear makeup like this style, so I'm a little bit nervous to see what I look like. And I think I'm gonna try and go just fill out and do black lipstick. 
and the whole look. Honestly, everyone that I've seen suits this makeup so much and I just feel like it's really not gonna look good on me. But, but I'm gonna obviously try it and see what I look like. I might be pleasantly surprised. So I'm gonna quickly do like the main part of the makeup and then when it comes to the eyes and the lips, I will get back to you guys. So I've done the base of my makeup and now I've got to try and do this eyeliner look, which is just a very like chunky wing. Okay, so I've done the eyeliner. I'm gonna take my blush and put it on my nose. They've got it like underneath their nose in this picture. So I'm gonna do that. Just like and then also taking that under my eye. So that is what she's done in the picture, but like a lot of it. I couldn't find a black lipstick, but I found this one, which is like a dark kind of purpley color. So I'm gonna try this and see what it looks like. I've never used this lipstick before. So I don't really know if it's gonna look good or not. I feel like I look really different right now. I'm looking in the camera and I'm like, wait, wait, what? Okay, so, oh my god, I look really different. Now I've had the lip, I'm like, I'm definitely gonna get this on my teeth at some point as well. So I'm done for makeup and now I think we should move on to hair. For hair, I'm just gonna keep it down because most of the photos I've seen, they just have their hair down. So I'm just gonna brush through it. And then, I know a lot of them have their bangs out. So I'm just gonna kind of have my hair like this. So I've picked out my outfit and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna be wearing this top underneath because I've noticed it's quite popular to like layer a long sleeve under a band tee or just a big t-shirt. And then I've got this Ed Hardy one. This <laughs> is so out of my comfort zone. And then I'm gonna be wearing these black Diamante cargo pants. I've also got some silver jewelry. This is like the only silver jewelry I really own. So I can't really layer it with other things, but let's go try this on. So this is the finish outfit. I'm gonna try to show you in the mirror because you can't really see the full thing. But I feel like I actually did quite a good job. I had the t-shirt down at the beginning and then it made a big difference when I tucked it in. I feel like it looks a lot better, but yeah. This is the outfit. I've literally got lipstick on my teeth. What do you think of my outfit? Ew. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? You don't like it? No. So I've just finished taking the pictures. Now I'm going to edit them. morning guys so today is thursday and i'm going to be doing 90s streetwear i'm so excited for this aesthetic because i've been looking at all the pictures on instagram and i'm just ready it's gonna be like destiny's child baggy denim jeans and i can't wait the makeup is very minimal um and they just usually have like a brown lip or like a nude kind of color so i'm gonna do my makeup i'm not gonna show you guys because it's probably gonna be boring because I've done this like every single day. So I'm just gonna show you when I do the lip. Okay, so I finished all my makeup. I'm just gonna add the lip liner now. This is like a kind of brownie color, I think. So hopefully this looks good. So I did the lip liner and now I'm gonna use a lighter shade on the inside of my lips. This is the Lime Crime Bleach. Okay, so that is all the makeup done. I'm gonna stay here to do my hair because I'm gonna be using a tool. So I've got to plug it in right here. And this is the Revlon 2-in-1, I think it's called. And I'm gonna blow dry my hair because I feel like in the 90s, they all had like really nice blowed out hair. So I'm gonna do that. So I've got the outfit on. This is the final look. I'm gonna show you in the mirror so you can see all the details of the outfit. It feels really 90s. Kind of wish the pants matched with the outfit, but I've only got these or some like stripy ones and that just wouldn't look good. Fair. I'm wearing the IMG top, like I said, and then I've got just some gold jewelry on. I actually have this really cool like sunglasses chain around my neck and holding these sunglasses, which is so 90s. And then I have some gold hoops in. I ended up sleeking back my hair because the hair just didn't look good down with this outfit. I'm wearing my Jaded London tracksuit top. And then I've got the Calvin Klein's on, and then I've got my jeans on, which I need to remove this button, actually, I just realized. And yeah, they're really baggy. It's like the baggiest jeans I have, so that's why they're a lot better than the Topshop ones.
I'm starting a little bit later than normal because I really want to have like dark neon lighting in the background for this one because I'm going to be doing Euphoria, which is such an aesthetic. The way they did the costume and the makeup in that film was just incredible and I'm going to be doing it mostly inspired by Maddie. I just did some blue eyeliner like this and I'm going to add gems and do lipstick. This is the glittery lipstick that I used for the fairy day. Um, and I'm gonna add this because it's so euphoria. So I just use just regular like arts and crafts gems But they already have acrylic not acrylic. What's it called? Um, like sticky stuff on the back so I don't need to put glue on. Okay, so this is my hair. It turned out really really cute I love pigtails like this. Now I'm gonna change into my outfit and show you guys when I've got it on <laughs> I'm so obsessed with this Oh, this is giving me such Maddie from Euphoria vibes. I'm gonna show you in the mirror. I wish that we could go out right now so I could wear this to a club. Probably not the coat because it's way too expensive for that. So this is the outfit. I'm wearing this Nova Print IMG set. These kind of flares and then this top. Maddie wears this exact top but in purple in the film, in the car carnival, in the carnival scene. And then I'm wearing my Urban Outfitters Penny Lane coat. I don't really feel like this is very euphoria, but I definitely think Maddie would wear something like this. So yeah, I'm so obsessed. I've also got my jewelry on. This is from Rad Drip, and then obviously the gems and the hair. I feel like it really completes the look. Now I'm gonna set up my self timer and try and get some pictures. So I just finished taking pictures and I got a few that turned out really good. Like this one looks really good. Um, I literally just did it on front camera because I was kind of struggling to do it with the flash. The flash looked so bad. So I just did it on front camera and then used my little remote. But this is one of the pictures. Oh, you can't see. I'll turn it down. Um, I feel like it looks so cool, especially with the lights. It looks really cool. So I'm going to try and edit that to make it look Euphoria-esque. And then I'll show you guys. So I just realized I completely forgot to film an outro for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications by clicking the bell. And follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok because I posted mini versions of all of these different aesthetics over my TikTok and Instagram. And also lots of the edits that I created in the end are now on my Instagram. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And obviously I don't have comments, but let me know on the live chat if you're watching this while it's premiering, what you thought of the video and what your favorite aesthetic was. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh baby, I love your madness. It's so